for the between to set up power up the device and you should be having fresh and blue to start to do repairing and today we're going to use it a hot 4G hotspot method and we can always use in a Wi-Fi analyzer to check the surrounding Wi-Fi strengths as you can see Johnny's hotspot is the strongest even my Wi-Fi at home is just half of the strengths all right and first of all make sure your phone is connect to the hotspot you want to do as a temporary Wi-Fi source and then go to the app, add device, between, and then you just need to put the correct password for it. And this password will be your hotspot password, and always make sure it's 100% correct. Alright, let's do repairing. So the phone will allow the between to do the setup through the app and connect to my hotspot. Once it connected, you can see it's become a steady blue light and you can see the UID which is identification for this device. Press that. Okay, so this is internal pin. No more, I just simply give it one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, just double check, confirm. And you will only use that when you do the transfer uh, to other phone to use this, your other, or other one log into your device. And for most of the door and gates, you, you will be need to select the cycle mode. Okay, cycle mode, and this is door one. And safety device none. Okay, safe. So check. You always use in the DC DC gate and door opener cycle mode. And next. Okay, so you get a notification means the device is online. Next. All right, so you will ask you to connect the output one, which is push button terminal to your motor. Confirm. Okay, so add it successfully. Now you have this icon, which is for this device. Tap once. Okay, you can also select what's the gate or door you want to use. Let me use the garage one. Okay. And you can hear the click, uh, the relay, which is from the output one. And then you just need to connect to your push button terminal. All right. So as this is using the 4G hotspot and temporary Wi-Fi source, then we can go to device information. Okay. Let's see. Uh, where is it? The Wi-Fi. Not here. Relative sharing, oh, Wi-Fi setting here. Relative sharing, Wi-Fi selected. And now you will need to transfer to the your Wi-Fi source, which is, this is my hotspot, and I need to change to my home Wi-Fi router, which is this one, and then the password. Okay, always make sure you got the correct Wi-Fi password for it. All right, so it's wrong. Okay, so the Wi-Fi ID. All right, let's do the transfer. All right, so it's become a steady blue, uh, fresh and blue because you need to transfer based on the hotspot and to my home Wi-Fi router. So it becomes steady now, so it should be able to already to change to which is my home router. So as as you see, I'm using the 4G hotspot as a temporary Wi-Fi source, and then after do all the setup, and then you can transfer to your home Wi-Fi. All right, okay, so let's see. All right, so you can hear the click. So now the device is connected to my home Wi-Fi, so I no longer need to use the hotspot. And I can always double check it's on related setting and Wi-Fi setting. Okay, so this is the function you can do the transfer. So now I am on my home Wi-Fi. So if I need to change the other one, it will through here. Okay, so as you can see, I can turn the Wi-Fi off. Oh, sorry. The Wi-Fi on to connect to my my home router, not the hotspot, and then I should still able to use it. Okay, done. So this is the procedure showing you using the 4G hotspot as a temporary and transfer to your home Wi-Fi router. Okay, if you have any question, just feel free to let us know. Have a good day.